MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm in XYZ showroom, and I'm here with Martin Burton, who's a sales manager. We're going to take a quick look at the XYZ CT52 LTY. Martin, let's start by actually summarising what the LTY stands for. It's quite simply live tooling with a Y axis. Right. Is this the only Y axis machine you have within the range? No, we do a slightly bigger machine, the 320 LTY. Right, I'm going to try and pick up a, a, a couple of points about the machine that looking at it have jumped out at me. Okay. Um, the first one is, is the Y axis. This is an orthogonal Y axis, as I learned myself a few weeks ago, yep. which means it's not two axes moving together to provide you with the Y. Correct, yes. We've just got a vertical Y axis slide way on there. Now, from my knowledge, that's a, a good thing because it means the machine's not so big in terms of its depth, yep. but there's also less chance of introducing inaccuracies into the Y axis itself. Do you know the dimension of the Y axis in terms of the stroke? Yeah, we've got a 70 mil stroke on the Y axis on this machine. And then next to the Y axis there, we have the turret of the machine. Yep. What is the, uh, the tooling that this machine uses? And with live tooling, can you have every station live? Yeah, it's a 12 station tool changer on there and it's a VDI 30 system. And like you say, every single position is a live tooling position. Okay, here, what is this? Well, this is our parts catcher. Typically, uh, originally we used to bring it out on the front of the machine, and that's quite common on the machines. But what we did on this is we've got a bucket that comes and collects the part, it brings it in and puts it onto a conveyor, which then will take it to the end of the machine, and keeping it all nice and compact at the end of the machine, keeps things tidy on the front, easier with coolant, etc. I was going to say, because it's not evident when you first look at it, no. but, but to me, it, it, is that going to restrict my turning diameter or the parts, the size of the parts I can put on the machine? No, absolutely not. The machine capacity has not been restricted at all. Still do the same thing as if it was on the outside of the machine. Right, now we know some of our viewers, uh, if it's the first time they've seen a video on a Y-axis, can you just very briefly summarise what the Y-axis will uh, give an engineer? Uh, well, that'll bring in some milling components and some drilling components where you can uh, mill a flat on the side, drill holes, tap holes on the side, do some engraving around the peripheral of a, of a surface. So you can do more complex machining on a part. Correct. This machine has a tailstock. Is it programmable? Yep, both uh, tailstock body and tailstock quill is pro are programmable. That's unusual. Often you find it's just the quill and sometimes not the body and you have to move the body. Yep, we wanted a fully automated machine in there so you can do and drag the, the tailstock body in. It's also important, we thought, that to get the tailstock out of the way once you've machined a component, make it easier for unloading. Because if you're doing it as a chucking machine, it's kind of important to get things out of the way for you. And would you say that these are predominantly used for ch chucking applications? No, no, they can be, we, we sell probably half of our machines with bar feeds as well, so it, it's a machine that can suit both environments. And on that note, the 52, that denotes the bar capacity of the machine, is that the maximum? Uh, that's the bar capacity of the machine, your bore is bigger than that, you're about 61 mil bore on the machine, but 52 mil with the bar feed on the headstock end. All right, uh, on to the control. Siemens control, are all your turning centres and lathes, uh, do they come with the Siemens control? Are there any options? Uh, does it have a manual guide for turning maybe? Uh, all the machines are Siemens shop turn, okay. uh, shop turn 828 control, uh, and that's across the range. We've, we've got uh, Siemens across the board. When an engineer is going to buy a machine, he wants to know what comes with it. So I'm looking at a machine here that's got a chuck, it's got a tool set in arm, it's got tooling in it. But what would actually come if I, if I bought this machine today and took it away, what, what would I have with it? You've got everything here. What you see is what you get. You get your parts catcher with the machine. You'll get your, your probing system in there. You'll get your swarf conveyor with the machine. It's complete. It's ready to go. All you need to think about is whether you need the bar feed system on the end. So you get the swarf conveyor, because again, that's sometimes something that you have to spec up. I've got the machine, or I'm going to buy it. What warranty am I going to get? How, when am I going to get trained? And how, am I going to, and how many days training am I going to need? Well, the machine will come with three days training. Typically, we'll do a two-day training course, and then you'll keep your third day when you need it, because you're pretty proficient after two days. Uh, from that, warranty, 12 months warranty with the machine, but you can extend that right up to seven years if you want to. Brilliant. Okay. All right. Thanks, Martin. So, if it's if it's turning that you're or you're looking for a machine that can do more than just turning, you should consider the CT52 LTY from XYZ. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.